Hey dolls and gents, today I have a new makeup tutorial for you guys, and this is voiceover style, so it's not a get ready with me video. I am going to be explaining and showing each product that I use in this makeup tutorial, so this is definitely for my beginners. If you want to follow through with this look, play it as you're getting ready, and I think it would help you guys out a lot. Besides the bold lips and the lashes, I think this would be a super cute everyday look for those of you who have a little bit of time to get ready and you like to wear makeup to work and such. I did not do all my highlighting and contouring like I normally do. Y'all know that I love highlighting and contouring because it adds a lot of dimension back into your skin, but I wanted to do a tutorial where I didn't do all of that, so those of you who do not like highlighting and contouring, you can try out this look and let me know how it works out for you. You. A majority of all the products that I use in this makeup tutorial are from Sedona Lace, including the makeup brushes, but if you do not have the products that I use in this tutorial, feel free to use the products that you have in your makeup collection, and if you see something that you would like to try out from Sedona Lace, I will have their link down below and also a coupon code for you guys. So if you want to see how I achieve this full look from start to finish, then you already know what to do. Stay tuned, guys. So I'm first going to brush through my brow hairs with my Sedona Lace EB17 brush and I'm going to use just the spoolie in just to make my brow hairs go all in one direction and get ready to fill them in. Now it's time to fill in those eyebrows. I love my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Brunette. I am lightly filling in the upper portion of the eyebrow. I'm basically applying more pressure to the tail end. As you can see, I don't have any hair on the tail of my eyebrows. So I really like to focus on that area and then lightly fill in the rest of the brow. I have several eyebrow tutorials already on my channel if you want to check them out. Those are kind of old. I definitely have a new one coming for you guys, so no worries. Next, I'm going to take my Sedona Lace EB23 brush along with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony, and I'm going to lightly fill in the tail end of my eyebrow and blend it into the front. This is just to make that tail a little bit darker since I don't have any hairs there. Now it's time to carve out those eyebrows with concealer. I'm using my Sedona Lace EB11 brush along with the Balm Time Balm Concealer in Dark. And I'm just using the brush to carve out the underside of the brow and I'll feather it out with the brush and my finger. Next, I'm going to apply my Sedona Lace Stick It To Em Eyeshadow Primer all over my eyelid just to make sure that the concealer that we put down next doesn't crease or the eyeshadow. Now we're going to mute out the discoloration on the eyelids with the Balm Time Balm Concealer in After Dark and I'm using the same EB11 brush to apply it all over the lid and then I'll blend it out with my finger. Next, I'm using my Sedona Lace EB13 brush along with my 28 Neutral Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going in with that matte tan color and I'm applying it all over the eyelid up to the brow bone just to set that concealer in place. Next, I'm going to add a bit of depth in my crease with my Sedona Lace EB09 brush and that medium matte brown color from my 28 Neutral Eyeshadow Palette. Now it's time to add winged eyeliner and I'm using my Sedona Lace EB19 brush. It's a bent angled eyeliner brush and I'm also using their eyeliner gel and blackout and I'm starting in the middle moving towards the inner corner then I do the outer corner then I do the wing and I build it up to the thickness that I like sometimes I do a really long wing sometimes I do a small wing just depending on the day and the mood and just how it ends up working out because y'all know how wing eyeliner is but if y'all want me to do an updated wing eyeliner tutorial, then definitely thumbs up this video and let me know in the comments down below. Okay. 
Now I'm applying my false eyelashes. Y'all know how much I love false eyelashes. Y'all can just do mascara if you want, but I'm applying a custom stacked pair that I made like a week or two ago. I can't remember which two lashes I stacked, but I'll try to write something comparable in the description box down below for you guys. Next, I'm going to blend my natural lashes with the false ones with mascara, and I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black. All right, let's get into this face makeup. I'm using my Sedona Lace number no. 727 brush, which is just your traditional foundation brush, and my Black Up Cosmetics 8 Hour Perfecting Primer, and I'm applying this all over the face to prep it for foundation. Next, I'm going to apply my foundation. I'm using my Sedona Lace FB07 brush along with my Chanel Perfection Lumiere and my Face Atelier Pro Ultra Foundation Mixed. I've been mixing my Face Atelier foundation with a whole bunch of different brands just because it warms up the foundations and I just have been loving custom making like different foundation colors because I feel like it fits my face a lot better and I just love this combination because it lasts all day but it looks really great photograph because it's HD as well. So I'm not doing any crazy highlighting and contouring today. I'm just going in with a concealer shade from the Sedona Lace 20 color camouflage concealer palette and it does have a peachy undertone to it so it is super nice at brightening underneath the eye area but it's not too bright after I set my powder. I wanted something natural but still that brightens that darkness underneath my eyes and these concealers are super creamy. Now I'm going to set my under eye concealer with my Black Up Cosmetics 2-Way Cake in TW04. This is just a powder that is about two shades lighter than my foundation color. Now we're going to set our liquid foundation in place with a powder and I'm using my Sedona Lace FB03 brush along with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder in the shade Coco. And I'm just applying this all over the places that we applied the liquid foundation except for underneath the eye area where we applied the concealer. So even though I'm not highlighting and contouring like crazy, y'all know I still have to apply a highlighting powder. And I'm using a powder from my Sedona Lace 10 Blush Palette. And it's just giving me a nice glow on the upper portion of my cheekbone. Next, I'm taking that orange blush from that same Sedona Lace 10 Blush Palette. And I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks. Next, I'm going to apply just a little bit of bronzer to my cheekbones. I'm going in with my Sedona Lace FB05 brush and my CoverGirl Queen Bronzer and Ebony Bronze. This next step is optional, but I wanted to apply just a little bit of mascara to my bottom eyelashes since I didn't apply anything to my lower lash line. Since we're doing a bold lip, I wanted to apply a lip liner and I'm using my MAC lip liner in just my type. It's a very dark purplish lip liner. It's hard to explain. It's almost black, but it's not black. But I'm using that to line around my lip area. Next, I'm going in with this gorgeous eggplant matte liquid lipstick, and this one is called Potion.
Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you've been enjoying my latest videos. I really appreciate all of you guys' feedback. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me and let me know what you thought about this look in the comments down below. I will definitely catch you all in my next video. Bye.